Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Artesia Stamps, and I wanted to take a second to talk about LiPo 360 in Texas. lot to share a whole lot to share so remember how i said i was going to join the mia aesthetic groups for dr chaparu dr Kashyap, and dr shara shara i'm definitely saying that wrong but i joined that mia's page i didn't find anything there but i googled um dr chaparu and i didn't find a whole lot there but I started asking around and I found some stuff out. So there is a, another group on Facebook um, that talks about fraud and media complaints and all of those things. And although they won't accept my request, I got a friend that's in it. And she just put in Chaparu search and she found out some stuff. So there's been a couple of complaints about liposuction being uneven, um, shoddy practices at the Houston, lo Austin location. Hear me out. Hear me out. All communication at Mia sometimes is shoddy, except for this time. I'll talk about, I'll tell you about that in a second. So, um, truth be told, it's not like the conversations at Mia has ever been like just great. But what I but what does concern me is that you have some uneven liposuction and that that bothers me a little bit. Um, his tummy tucks are starting to be uneven, and then that happens, right? So with these new doctors that now become old doctors, anybody at Mia that's been at Mia for more than a year are now seasoned, good and seasoned doctors, because Mia like. They get these new doctors in, and I'm not new to the industry, but just new doctors. And when they're new, their clientele's not not that grand. They're not overworked, over they're not overexerted, and they don't have assistants, so they do their stuff themselves. They're not of a book. They got these great prices because it's not all inflated. But the moment they blow up, all of this rigmarole comes into play. So long story short nixing um dr chaparu um besides his tummy no his lipo 360 was 300 no 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 no, no, no sorry six thousand five hundred and sixty seven dollars to me that's a lot considering you know five months ago i just dropped a lot for mommy makeover i can't foresee me paying six something for lipo 360 am i happy with my results let me just be clear i am overjoyed about my results the problem that i have is my back it's always 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 been my back if you go to my instagram page tisha under tisha's underscore journey you'll notice i talk a lot about my back fat because it's just crazy like it's just unbelievable it's I can't even describe it. It's so frustrating. Literally. But I decided to go back. So yes, I am I'm definitely going back. Now it's time to find the right doctor. I think I found somebody. So talking to my surgical coordinator, which you'll see here. Tied with much research. And I'll drop it in a second to go with Dr. Gregory Zacchaeus out of the Houston location. Not his plan. But no, I'm I'm excited because he talks about the liposuction and it he says, well, so the procedure includes 12 areas of liposuction along the abdomen, the waist, love handles, and the back. Praise God. Won't he do it? 12 areas are broken down as follows. Abdomen is four areas, waist is two areas, love handles is two areas, back is four areas, bra strap down. I'm going to try to see if we can substitute my abdomen for my arms. 
Additional errors is eight hundred dollars. We know that BMI gotta be lower than a thirty-four or lower. Praise God. Getting down to a thirty-two for your BMI was difficult. Um, all round two liposuction procedures require cell saver. Luckily, I got a MMO, so don't eat that. Dr. Sarcias in Houston is $5,500. Dr. Zacchaeus is $4,499, but his cash price is five is $4,000 straight out. $4,000 straight out. $4,000. Not six, not seven, four. Price includes anesthesia, operating room fees, one pair of compression socks, and post-op visits. Price includes, um, no, price are subject to change. I already know that. So, yeah. What else? I don't need this, though. The one garment, three liposuction foams, and one abdomen board. Baby, because I know better, I do better. My garment going to be the one that I got on my body. Okay? Um, my liposuction foam boards, those bad boys is on, on Amazon mega gray for 30 bucks for four so we're not gonna do that and a urinal 15 dollars off of eve off, off of amazon so we're not gonna do that either because that whole package by itself was 175 dollars we we're not gonna do that so no um drainage massages you get three for 250 Ooh, i gotta find somebody in houston that i can count on because i what i don't want to do is buy three for mia they weren't great to begin with, but I may. Recovery house? No. This time, my husband's coming with me because I trust him clearly over going to recovery house. Not knocking recovery houses, but my husband's going to be there, so I'm, I, I feel better. I'm eating potatoes while we gather here today. So... I didn't look up Dr. Chaparu because I promised I probably didn't even care to look him up because I knew that I liked him, but I don't know. I listen to y'all a lot, so we can go with him. All right, so I did some digging <laughs> in real life. Before I jump to this, watch this. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ziakas. Most of my friends, colleagues, and patients know me as Dr. Z. I'm a national of Greece, where I went to medical school. I've been living in the United States since 1998, on and off. <clears throat> I completed um, general surgery residency in Philadelphia and Houston, Texas, and then a plastic surgery residency in Jackson, Mississippi. I have been practicing plastic surgery since uh, 2015. And I became a plastic surgeon because I like combination of science and art, attention to detail, and I like to make a difference to patients' lives as well as their bodies. Uh, my practice philosophy is to treat every patient, every person, and every patient as family, and offer them the best possible result uh, by always adhering to high safety standards. Okay, so that's Dr. Zacchaeus. Um Pretty cool dude, uh, super laid back, and from what I can see, um, he's good. So let's just get into it. So Gregory is Zacchaeus, MD. I'm looking at MD.com, which I love. When I tell you, give you all the down and dirty, gives you everything about him. Not a whole, whole lot, but enough for me to understand what I'm getting myself into. So Dr. Zacchaeus... Um, he used to be at New Body Plastic Surgery in Katy, Texas. Um, I do know that. He, his bio, Dr. Gregory Zacchaeus is a plastic surgeon, reconstructive surgeon, serving Katy area. Um, let's drink, let's let's look at his other stuff. Hold on. He's a member of the American Medical Association. And a candidate member of the American Society of Plastic Surgery and the American Associate American Society of Oh. Okay. He is certified in general surgery, 
by the American Board of Surgery. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's just check out all the things, right? So I see his bio here, right? I'm on md.com and everything that you want to see is here. No purpose necessary, it's just there. So his, his bio looked pretty good. He actually practiced in Katy, Texas at New Body Plastic Surgery. Um, he went to University of ooh, Ionina School of Medicine. It was in Greece, so I can't speak Greek. So he was at that school. He speak Greek, Spanish, and English. Let's see what we got. That's just a quick bio on, on that's like a quick bio on um, MD.com. But we also ventured off to Texas Medical Board, which is what's important. Let's see. So it looks like he actually held a couple of licenses. Um, he had a per physician in training license. Then he had a physician full temporary license. Then he has his real license. You want to check all of those. Every last one of them. And I did. But back to the original one, well, the, the main one that counts. Um, information current as of 2-9. So when you're checking this stuff and you log in, it tells you exactly what you're looking at. Hold on. Let that, let, let that focus in. Right? So as of 2-9... Uh, he was, his birthday, yeah, his date of birth, well, gosh, year of birth is 1972. His issuance date, his issuance date for this license was on 8-24-2007. It expires on 8-31-2023. Um, current active status as of 9-7-2007 is active. Disciplinary restrictions, None. Specialties, plastic surgery. School of graduation, University of Iona, Iona, 1996. I'm believing that's in Greece. I, it was in Greece. Current action of the board, nothing. Medical malpractices, like when I say check this stuff out, that's nothing on his licenses. I'm sorry, y'all, hold on. Nothing. Great, right? Moving along. Um, He's a white male. 15 years of practice in the U.S. or Canada, 11 years practice in Texas. 11 years of practice in Texas. That's a lot of years. Um, specialty board of certification. What else we got? Let's see. Okay. The a medical board of surgery to 2008. American board of surgery 2019. Specialties. Plastic surgery and emergency medicine. Let me tell you how much that makes my spirit happy. Because his first specialty is plastic surgery. He wasn't a regular doctor and said, oh, I want to do surgeries today. No, that's his actual profession. So that makes me happy. And then emergency medicine, meaning if, if, if some stuff break bad, you can take care of some things. So I like that. Education, Ben that didn't talk about that. But let's get into it. So I was right. He graduated in 1996, Ionina, 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 Greece. Um, he actually graduated medical education in Mississippi. So University of Mississippi Medical Center, uh, 2012, he began, he ended in 2015. That was his actual fellowship. So that was his residency as well. Check this out. Plastic and reconstructive surgery. So if you don't know, like it's real out here in these streets. He's he's great. Um, Houston, Texas. General surgery. General surgery. If you have not noticed, he's always been in surgery. So that's great. Hospital privileges. Oh, a lot. This is great. So this is what I, I like to look at because if something were to happen, God forbid, and you, something were to take place and you got to go to the hospital, 
you want to know that your plastic surgeon has has privileges at different hospitals. When I went to uh, Mia in Chicago, Dr. Rain only had one privilege at, a, at, the, at the hospital, just one. But with him, he has nine privileges at, at nine different hospitals. So that's great to know. I mean, he has privileges there, which is good, meaning if something goes wrong, he can come there and perform whatever. Utilization review, patient services. So the last address he have on here is Katy, Texas. And it says that he speaks Spanish and Greek, basically. Awards and honors. I mean, description is, is, is it says Academic Excellence Award, Methodist Hospital General Surgery Program. I'm just saying, if you are here with, I mean, honors and stuff. Feeling good. Medical malpractice, none. Criminal history, none. Disciplinary actions, none. <laughs> Physician's assistant supervision, meaning you got in trouble and need somebody to watch you? None. Advanced practice nurse um, delegation? None. Summary of his license basically says he has an issue to, in 2007. He currently has it. But if you check out everything else, he doesn't have anything against his name. So with that being said... Why not, right? So his his license is currently active. He doesn't have any actions taken against him. And if I look at the Mia Houston location, Mia Aesthetics, I put Houston. And I put deaths, cause you know, I'm real grim like that. I be needing to know what's going on out here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Obviously. If I even put in Dr. Gregory Zakia's complaints. Nothing. There's nothing out, no, nothing out here. So with that being said, the reason why I decided to go back is because I really, really, really want to go back. That's my personal decision. Like I'm I'm sad on it. That's it. It's for me to feel good about me that being said that's why i decided to do what i wanted to do with this surgery especially with lipo 360 because it's not about finding the right doctor it's about balancing out the right evil right so if you have a doctor that's new to the facilities and don't have a lot of surgeries under his belt he does great he takes his time right or you have someone that does multiple surgeries, but have a lot of complaints. So the more surgeries you have, the, the, the greater the error of margin is. So honestly, that's the reason why I chose to go with someone that was newer. Because I feel like my chances of him taking his time would be way better. So what else we got? I think that's about it. So comments, questions, all of that below. Other than that, until next time.